Hello, I'm on Church Street on this rainy, busy Monday afternoon. Before I make my videos, Jones walks in and around the city centre. I get me 10,000 steps in, but I also observe what is happening to our city, right? Now, one can see, okay, so, okay, yeah. I'll have a wait in a minute, say it, okay. Uh, oh, another friend there, supporter. So, what is happening is the cultural change that I talk about. That's the purpose why I walk in and around the city centre because I observe it firsthand. I don't want to be relaying any information back to the public, the good people of Liverpool, that isn't true, that is uh, exaggerated or even made up, far from it. The cultural change is real and present. And we oppose the cultural transformation of our glorious city at the next general election. Let's find candidates, I'm sure there'll be some, that are credible and who we can rely on that will be opposing further cultural change to our glorious city, right? We don't march or counter demonstrate at the Senate half or anywhere else. You become part of the problem once you engage in that sort of activity. The way to change things is to vote those out who are responsible for this mess, right? Marching, counter demo, counter, counter demonstrations and whatever is that's being called for is a complete waste of time. All that works is electoral politics, right? Nothing else. If it doesn't work, why do you think the other lot are involved in it, those in power now and their opposition, right? They're all advocates of standing in elections, of course, because they know it does work. They know once they're in power, they have the control. They know they can do this and they can do that. And we see this happening to our glorious city. We see the cultural transformation by those who are in power. So all this nonsense, people coming out with that, you know, let's have a demonstration, let's have a march, let's have a counter demo. All that is, is to let off steam, nothing else, right? It achieves zilch, it's getting really busy now. There's a lovely lady, Busker there on the piano, she's got a Ukraine flag, I'm not sure if she's, um, it's a charity for Ukraine, I'm not sure, but she's a really, really uh, nice player on her little piano, whatever, whatever it is she's got there, uh, better than the usual rapper. But anyway, so as I'm saying, the cultural change we now see transforming our glorious city, we must oppose this at the next general election which i'm assuming is next year right other than that if we don't the cultural change will continue the politicians in power won't utter a word let alone oppose oppose it and stopping any further cultural transformation of our city they'll just continue as normal and just hope they can rely on the public as they've done for so for so long but I think this time times are changing people can see what's happening to our city we are losing our unique scouse character identity culture that will be replaced by completely different ones right you see when new arrivals first came to Britain say you had the Afro-Caribbean community in Brixton say London they all pulled together because they were an Afro-Caribbean community. They may not have pulled together with the initial, uh, the original um, Cockney hosts who are no longer there, but they had one thing in common. They were all Afro-Caribbean. Same with the Hindu and Sikh communities, same with the Chinese communities. But what's happening here now, you are getting Nigerian, Zimbabwe, Sri Lankan, Algerian, Albanian, 
Syrian, Iraqi, Afghani, that have all got nothing in common with one another, let alone their Scouse hosts. So they can't pull together. So that's why we have uh, the situation we see now in Kensington and Fairfield and the top of Smith Down Road. And so we need to oppose this, it needs to be stopped, right? If we don't stop it, like I said, we will lose our glorious city and everything it stands for. And also, like I've said, this is not ours to squander or throw away. It's our children and grandchildren's, right? We don't have the right to throw it away. So once again, I walk in and around the city centre because I want to get my facts right. Once I've established that I'm not making this up, it's not a mirage. I haven't had too many knocks on, on the head working the doors. When I establish that this is real and present, what is happening, I then make my video, which I'm doing now. Trust me, right, when I say this, our city is changing. We must oppose this. It, it is of the utmost importance that we do. If we don't, like I've said, we will lose our glorious city and everything it stands for and all those in the past that have sacrificed so we could continue to live free and be scousers and enjoy what our forefathers enjoyed and like i said on a final note it's getting really busy this is not ours to squander or throw away it's our children and our grandchildren's legacy right remember that right so come the general election next year let's get ready let's find candidates who are credible who oppose further cultural change and let's give them our vote okay thank you